This is uh, PC Wiz Montreal from CompletePC.ca. Uh, you could uh, definitely check that out when you have a second. Uh, Going to be revamping the site very soon. Uh, in the meantime, you got just uh, basic layouts and photos and videos and prices and what we do and uh, some contacts, you know, typical stuff. Uh, yeah, so uh, today I'll be demonstrating how you assemble a motherboard properly uh, with its components. Uh, we have the Z77A G45 motherboard from MSI basically have a quick installation guide right here um, you know check it out doesn't hurt uh, this is a SLI uh, connector not an AMD uh, crossfire connector it's uh, strictly Nvidia it seems uh, that is the motherboard backplate put in the case uh, those are some uh, spare SATA cables and uh, here we got uh, the in detail instruction manual um, I like these I like what ASUS MSI seems to have followed suit uh, with these uh, front panel connectors so when you have your case you have these wires coming out of the case and sometimes they're it's a very tight fit to plug that into the motherboard jumpers so with these you can plug that in directly into your chassis well not into the chassis but into the wires coming out of the case uh, it's all set up and then you just basically plug it directly into the motherboard super easy uh, with some custom cables it looks great so there she is, the MSI Z77 AG45. I've used this board at least in uh, two other builds, if not three. I'm just not exactly sure and I don't want to lie. So uh, I, I do like this board. It's uh, reliable, it's uh, steady, it's easy to overclock. Um, yep, very good board. Uh, ATX, not, uh, not MATX. Uh, here what you see is how I prep up my board. I just literally put it on the plastic and on the box. I figure if the plastic is good enough to uh, take care of any electrostatic discharge, it's good enough for me to work on. That is your cap on your uh, motherboard socket processor. You have to be very careful when you take that off, but uh, yeah, just you have to remove that. And I recommend that you keep this little connector, this, uh, sorry, this cover, the black part. Uh, what I'm lifting here is actually the uh, socket retain, uh, retention clip. And uh, yeah, take off the black part, keep that in the motherboard box in case for if any reason the motherboard dies, well, you have to return it and they don't accept it without that. Okay, here's the processor we'll be using, the Intel Core i5 2500K Socket 1155 processor. Um, I usually go for Core i5s for my uh, for my more money stingy builds, you know. Um, went with the Core i5 with this build, and yeah, we're, I'm gonna show you how to pop that into the motherboard, how to apply thermal paste and everything. So uh, here we go. Basically, have your uh, retention clip up and ready to uh, pop the uh, processor in. Okay, so right here I'm just showing you that you have edges on each corner of the socket and you have to align them with the arrow, okay? Uh, make sure that the arrow is the same, is facing the same direction as the other arrow on the actual motherboard. So you put down the retention and you put down the lever. It, you need to apply a little bit of force. Don't go nuts, but just enough force that you know the lever goes down and there you go. Motherboards, uh, the processor is in. Pop in that vengeance RAM. That's how we do that. Some people they put it side to side. I like just putting it flat. That's it. I have my clips open in advance all the time. And then you know pretty much when you hear a snapping noise uh, when you snap in the the memory that you're pretty much in. I'm I'm kind of paranoid, so I just after it snapped, I push it down a bit more and make sure. So that's all there is to actually installing RAM. RAM is probably like the easiest component to to upgrade to to just you know swap actually uh, it doesn't mean that you have to be careless with ram you have to be careful with all com computer components but uh yeah uh, ram is a very easy upgrade so if your technician tells you you should upgrade your ram you should listen to him it's cheap and easy <laughs> so there you go that's how it looks so there you have it uh we're gonna be um I'm going to be showing you how to put on some thermal paste on your processor and approximately what amount. Uh, I don't use much thermal paste and I do use Tunix TX2. I also use uh, Freezing Point. I have a couple of my faves in this video. In this case, I'll be using some Tunix T uh, TX2. 
that I uh, that I ordered online for what about ten bucks. That's it. See, that's that's literally like about all I put on my processors. This is the CNPS Performa 5X from Zalman. That's what we'll be using to cool down uh, our process. This is the little pegs to attach the uh, the retention clip, the uh, bracket actually. Of course, the impossible to open plastics that I'll just skip by. And uh, here we go. Yeah, it's pretty small. It uh, fits in the palm of my hand pretty much. It was actually extremely easy to install. You just have to literally put it down, put in the screws, and then clip this guy in. See, that's an example. See how it's spread pretty much on most of the processor? You don't need much thermal paste. What I'm showing here actually is the reason why I oriented the fan this way. You saw, as you can see at the top of the motherboard, you have uh, the VRM heat sinks that were actually blocking the clip, so I couldn't actually even install it that way. And on top of which, the RAM that I ordered isn't low profile, so at this point, I couldn't even rotate it if I wanted to. So, uh, so yeah, it's gonna it's gonna end up looking like that. It's going to suck in the hot air from the uh, memory, which I'm not a big fan of. But hey, it's a clean job. It's good. And uh, yeah, this isn't a review of the parts. This is just a how-to. And uh, I usually don't mess around with my parts. I always stick to quality names, like the parts you see here. Okay. You'll have a complete list at the end of the video. Subscribe, like, I'd really appreciate it. If you like the ICU visuals page, that's excellent. Uh, those are the guys doing the videos uh, these days. Okay? Thanks very much. Until next time, completepc.ca. This is PC Wiz Montreal.